Hey everyone. Oh, here it is, Wednesday again. So great to have you join us. Happy, of course, February. Hey, all it's noon. Wednesday noon prayer. I get to be with you two weeks in a row. What an honor that is. My name is Carrie. I am the missions pastor here at Timberline. You know, just to share a little thing that's happening in missions right now. Right now we have 10 people who are part of a virtual missions experience to the country of Jordan. And what an honor it is to be in this virtual experience with people learning about the country, learning about what's happening there. I want to encourage you to check that out and be a part of it. Hey, Missy, so good to see you. Edward, great to see you also. Thanks for joining us today. You know, I want to just encourage you that God has given us the most powerful tool, whether you're a mom or a dad, a healthcare provider, first responder, you're a single person, whatever your, your title is, whatever your role is, whatever challenges you face, God has given us the most effective tool. That tool is prayer. I want to read to you a scripture in James 5, 16, and I put it in the comments section also, but it says, the effective prayer of a righteous man can accomplish much. And I want to tell you, when I read that, I'm going to be honest with you, and I, I question that. I, I question Am I righteous? Because I want my prayers to make an impact for sure. And I want you to know, as soon as I ask myself that question, I feel like the Holy Spirit responds to my heart and says that because God sent his son Jesus, and I've accepted him as my savior. I stand righteous before him through his eyes. Last weekend, Pastor Dick Foth, in the weekend message, he reminded us that God uses our past to shape our future. I also believe your past experiences empowers you, impassions you to pray for others because maybe you've been in a place that they're at and you have just knowledge and how best to pray for them. I want you to encourage you in that. I want you also, as we listen, connect and serve, Let's pray for those that we come in contact with. Whether we come into contact with them at the store, maybe we just pass by them. Say a prayer for them, a silent prayer for them. Your prayers will make an impact in their life. God has you present in various places and he wants to use you. Your silent prayer, you, we're not gonna know. We're not gonna know when we step out in obedience and pray for that person we pass in the grocery store, or that person who is pumping gas beside us, or that mom we see at school. Your prayer will provide life and encouragement to her. So I wanna encourage you in that. And as we go to pray today, we're all praying for different things. We all have different things in our heart. I wanna encourage you to take a moment and in the comment section, just type in what you're praying for. Go back and read what other people are praying for and let's join together because there is power when we join together in prayer. So I wanna encourage you in that. And I'm gonna go back and look at those. I will be joining you in prayer, whether you post it now or you watch later. We'll be joining together in prayer. So let's pray together. Dear God, I am so grateful, so grateful for this tool this opportunity we have to have conversation with you in prayer. We can lift up whatever's on our heart. Nothing's too heavy, but you also tell us you are not asking us to carry things alone, that you will carry it with for us, Lord. So today we bring what we're carrying on our heart to you and trust you. We always try, want to trust you with what we cannot see. Today, Lord, we lift up all of those who are giving vaccines for COVID, receiving them, God, we pray that you'll protect them. Lord, um, I'm just grateful for the science that makes this happen, God. 
Lord, I just pray that you will help us all to be understanding of each other where we're at with either getting the vaccine or not. Lord, just give us um, just desire of peace between us, God. Lord, we also do pray. We pray for those who have loved ones who are sick right now, whether they're at home, they're in the hospital. God, we lift them up to you in the name of Jesus. We pray that you will heal their bodies, ease their breathing, God, and we also just pray for their organs would function according to your will. God, we pray for healing for those who are sick. Lord, we just pray for our community. Lord, we pray for those who do not know you. Help us to be a light and a witness to them in our words, in our actions, and Lord, how we prefer them. Lord, I just pray that you would be with us. We love you, Lord. We do thank you for the tool of prayer that you've given us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, you guys have a great day. And let's remember to listen, connect, and serve as we let love live in everything we do today. God bless you. See you later. Bye-bye.